It's early fall, and this is a great time to get free plants. So I'm gonna propagate some of my favorites. So here's the first thing you need. Some good seeding mix. So this is soil without soil, sort of. It's made to do cuttings or grow seeds, things like that. But it's awfully dry. This seedless soil mix is kinda hard to get moist. So it's really smart to add some water and get it a little bit wet before you stick it in the pot. Everything I'm using, I have sanitized with 10% bleach, Listerine, or Lysol, okay? So even this bucket, we're pretty much ready to go. Now we gotta take some cuttings. This is Miss Sayori, one of the best hydrangeas I've ever grown. I don't wanna take one that's got a flower or a bud on it. And you don't need real long cuttings. So I'm gonna cut a little more off here. This is where the roots are gonna grow, right there. So you gotta put this in some of this rooting powder. You don't wanna just stick it in there. So I have my special dibble. <laughs> I got this at Goodwill a number of years ago. And just gonna poke some holes. You could put three or four in something like this. This rooting powder has special hormones that make plants want to root. It plays a pretty key role. Okay, now there's just a couple of steps and we're done here. I gotta put in some stakes. Now these are old bamboo stakes that I found in my garage. Chopsticks work really well for this too. What I'm gonna do with this plastic bag is I'm gonna make sure that these plants don't get too dried out. So there we go. Now you have got a propagator guaranteed to get roots on these hydrangeas within four to six weeks.